For millions of years, instinct has been our primary guiding system. Our most fundamental instinct is our survival instinct. And in modern times, this is known as our fight or flight response. This has also been termed our stress response. Let me teach you the secret to harnessing this ancient power that's buried right inside of you. We are hardwired to avoid pain and seek pleasure, even if the pain in the long run would lead us to something good. This behavior comes from a time when our survival included running away from a saber-toothed tiger. Pain is uncomfortable. So when we experience uncomfortable emotions, we naturally want to avoid them. We experience pain as a threat. The fight or flight response on an emotional level equates to anger being fight and fear being flight. Socially and culturally, we've lowered the value of emotions to the point that we actually believe them to be less value than thinking. This is a major problem. The dismissal of our emotional being has led to so many people feeling depressed, insecure, anxious, and just unsatisfied with life. Before conscious thoughts, emotions were the guide. While conscious thought gives us the ability to think of our past, our future, become cunning towards survival, and even progress, we can't just dismiss this ancient power. There must be a balance and integration of these two powerful forces of perception. And nowadays, with so much focus on thinking, there needs to be a reintegration of emotions with our thinking process. Conscious thought is just a tiny part of our being, yet we often find ourselves isolating ourselves in a narcissistic perception of an I versus the world view. Without emotions, we wouldn't be able to feel things like compassion, empathy, or even love. Suppressing emotions doesn't cause them to be extinguished. It only leads them to act on our conscious mind without our awareness. And this is the critical point. Emotions play a fundamental role in the communication between our unconscious and conscious mind. We get important information that comes from the unconscious mind all the time. We're just not aware of it. And when we do not pay attention to our unconscious, our emotions, or are in denial of them, we are literally in an internal conflict with ourselves, which often leads to unhealthy and even destructive behavior. Rather spend an extra 10 minutes trying to become aware of what's just below the surface of your unconscious so that you can become exponentially more effective than dismiss this crucial power at your own detriment. Now, knowing that your unconscious influences your conscious mind through emotions and dreams, what can you do today that will help you become more deeply connected to what's happening in your unconscious mind? Let me know your ideas in the comment section below. If you find this interesting, please hit subscribe, like or share down below.